generate audio from text and choose from a variety of AI voices with Audiate. For our first example, I'll take a script and turn it into a voice recording. Let's get started. There are multiple ways to add text that we will use to generate audio. Type to add text here, drag a text file into Audiate, or select import a file to browse and select a text file from your computer. Let's start by typing the script in Audiate. To speed things up, I can also copy and paste text from a script I've already written. Once my text is complete, I'll click Done Scripting. To add audio for this section, click the Create button. The default voice is currently selected. Choose between different languages, voices, styles, speed, pitch, or start with a preset. The best way to explore the different options is to change settings, then click on Preview. Let's change the voice to Nancy and see how it sounds. Hello, my name is Nancy. I want to make one more adjustment, so I'll change the style to Friendly. Now that I have an option I like, I'll click Generate Audio. My audio is now generated with this new voice. Press play to listen. In today's session, we are going to cover the three tips to improve your audio recording. If I forget a line, I'll add it in by double-clicking a text box or clicking on the scripting mode icon. Press Done Scripting to regenerate audio. This ensures that your audio sounds seamless no matter what edits you make to your script. To remove a section, double-click, drag, and press Delete. Next, let's create a conversation with two voices. Double-click in the text box to open scripting mode and press Enter twice to create a new section. Type in text, then click on the Settings button. Select a different voice and click Generate Audio. Press Play to listen to the conversation. One of the most common mistakes I've made is not checking whether the cords were secured between my microphone and computer. For the next example, I'll replace my recorded audio with a new voice. I'll click on the Record button. Ready in 3, 2, 1. Hello, in today's session we are going to cover three tips. Then press Stop. Let's say I had to stop my recording early because I noticed there was a lot of noise in the background. Instead of recording my voice, I'll double-click to open scripting mode and type out the rest of the audio. You'll see my account photo appear on the left, indicating this section contains recorded audio, and the Create button icon for this section that I typed. To replace my voice, I'll click on my account photo icon, then select a new voice. To generate audio for your entire project, including the section where I typed the new audio, click on the toggle to apply to entire project, then generate audio. Let's see how it sounds. Hello, in today's session we are going to cover three tips. The first tip is to take a moment before you begin recording to listen to your surroundings. Here's another time-saving tip. To save your favorite voice options after you've made any desired changes, click on the Preset menu and select Save Preset. Give it a name and click OK. Now when you click on the Preset menu again, you'll see a list of user presets to quickly select and apply to your project. Have fun creating and thanks for watching. <laughs>